guys, welcome back. Let's play 1985 here. This is Super Metroid Part 9, and we just got the speed booster last time, so we're gonna be running around. Like, we just ran through that area there, which previously would have been inaccessible, and now we can freeze these guys and get on up here, which we couldn't have done before. We couldn't possibly. Well, actually, we, po we could have. But I am just not good enough to do that. You have to use the wall jump, basically, to get up there. And I suck at the wall jump, so I'm not even going to try. So, anyways. Ugh, this part's stinky. Stinky. Anyways, hope you all are enjoying these. I have, certainly am. I'm having a great time playing this. Uh, even though I'm not very good. Oh my god, really? They put them on the roof? I'm really not good at Super at Super Metroid, but I have a great time, and that is pretty much all that matters. Okay, really? All right, we will get there eventually. Anywho, okay, really, really? I jumped in the same guy twice. I'll probably do it again. Oh, oh man. All right, so how's everyone else's day going? Anyone doing anything fun? I'm just gonna walk out of there. Um, what did I do yesterday? Yesterday I went to the park. Today, what am I gonna do? I'm not gonna do Oh, so that door just closed and it was orange, and that means that if I wanna go back, that I have to use whatever it is that opens up the orange doors. It seems as though I don't have anything that opens up orange doors. That's a good indicator that I'm going to have something that opens up orange doors. And this is certainly not what opens up orange doors, but I'll take it. <laughs> so. Uh, it's be a nice, relaxing day today. I'm, I'm having a peaceful day. I do have a big report that I have to read, but it shouldn't be too bad. Let's see what's behind door number two. What do y'all think it is? Oh, it's a room. Uh-oh, and I'm locked in the room. I think that the gray door means that you have to kill everyone in the room before moving on, so let's, let's go ahead and do that. Don't make fun of me because I suck. And now it's open. Yep, now we're good. We are good. Oh, so I went the other day, I bought paper at Staples. I went to Staples because I had bought ink at Staples for my printer. Um, and I thought I'd gotten the right kind. The guy who sold it to me gave me two of the correct kind, and then he gave me two of the incorrect kind. So I went back to exchange it, which they're not really supposed to exchange ink, uh, but they did, which was really nice of them. Uh, and so to say thank you, I basically bought a pad of paper, and the paper was six bucks or seven bucks, which was expensive, but you get a three dollar uh, mail-in rebate. And so I finally got my $3, and I've been, like, way too lazy to cash it. So the paper will probably end up costing me 7 bucks. <laughs> I'll cash it one day. I got a check for two ninety nine from Staples. How awesome is that? Yeah, there's got to be something in here. Aha! Uh -huh. What about down here? Aha! Uh -huh. The whole thing. Well, that's interesting. That sure is interesting. Okay, so we've been there. Been, so there's got to be something down. And there is. See, that's the thing. You think that that's a secret, like shooting through the floor. And it kind of is, but you eventually have to go there. So you see, like, there's no way out of here unless I went down here to find whatever it is, because I can't get back through that orange door. So you have to find it eventually. And you could drive yourself nuts looking for it, but... Oh well, that's... I mean, that's the kind of nice thing about this game. Come on, you guys, freeze. Freeze, freeze. And here is something. Power bombs. We got the power bombs. And power bombs, uh, you can use these or you can use your regular bombs. But the power bombs, what they will do is they will open up orange doors. And there's also a lot of secrets throughout the game. Um, using the power, oh my god, <laughs> using the power bombs, 
and uh, so we will definitely get there. Man, it's cold in here. It is really cold in here. I want to go get my sweatpants. I don't want to leave you guys hanging. Maybe I'll get that in between this video and the next one. Alright. So now we can go up. Up and at them. As they say. I don't know if everyone says that. Maybe it's just my parents. No. What we can do, we can switch to power bombs. We can lay one down. And that opens that right up. And we can go through there. And so that's pretty exciting. So there is a lot of stuff. Um, I'm not going to go back yet because we can actually head up and use the power bombs to progress further in the game. Well, that guy just dropped a super missile. That guy is my best friend. I wonder how these enemies get a hold of the super missiles. You know? So now... Anyways, um, I'm going to drop a super bomb right there, and you can actually fall right through that guy, and he gives you more power bombs. Not too shabby, if I do say so. So now I think we get ten, we get to hold ten of these things. So now i got to make my way across here, which is probably not going to happen. And there it goes. <laughs> I think I saved pretty recently, so it shouldn't really be a problem. Yes, I would like to keep playing. Brinstar. Oh, now I can see the things. Okay, so there's Brinstar and there's Crateria or something like that. I always like to look at the at the maps and see what they're called. Because I don't remember. Everyone else knows the names. Everyone I watch, they're like, oh, we're fighting Cornelius or whatever his name is. And I'm just like, but where do you get the names of the boss? Like, I know you could search on the internet, but like, really? So anyways, I'm going to hustle through this. I'm going to get the what we just lost. But now we know where to go, which is excellent. Excellent, excellent. We'll need a Supra right here. Yeah. And then we'll head across. So another thing that uh, we like to do, we go to the... So we live in San Diego. We go to the San Diego Zoo. And we got year passes, which are actually not uh, very expensive, believe it or not. Like Disneyland is $200 for one year pass. Like, that's insane. Um, so I don't do that. But the zoo is actually a great deal. You get the zoo and the wild animal park for, uh, what is it, $109, uh, which may seem like a lot. But for 109 bucks, you get the zoo, you get the wild animal park, you get a discount, you get free parking, you get all that stuff. Uh, you get two year passes for $109. So it splits it down. So now it's only $54.50 per person. Um, and then you also get two day passes to bring someone. That's a $52 value. So that's pretty good. And then you also get two discount uh, tickets. So in other words, for $15, bucks, you can let someone in. So the whole deal, the whole package is actually pretty darn good uh, if you think about it for 109 bucks. Oh, and then on top of that, it's tax deductible, so you actually get it for free. So it's a great deal. Uh, now that I think about it, it's a really great deal. So if you're ever in town or if any of you guys live here, um, that is a great way to support the zoo and to get a good deal. And so basically what we do, me and my girlfriend, is we go there and walk around and everything. So I'll explain later. Anyways, we're running out of time here, so I just got the power, power bomb we'll probably pick up at the end of this room. Uh, but anyways, don't forget to subscribe and like and favorite and send to your friends and support me in my efforts. Come on, let me out of here, you little stinker. And uh, all that stuff, like, fave, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll see all you guys next time.